A Plymouth man who's become quite the baseball historian received some terrible news over the weekend. Someone stole the man's car right out of his driveway. And as Delane Cleveland reports, that car contained some precious cargo. My collection started was, I think, in 1982. Jim Weinzettel loves baseball. Baseball goes from generation to generation. I've got baseball in my blood. He is a collector of memorabilia. One Ted Williams ball. And a historian of our national pastime. It has this sign, Fairfax Baseball Museum. Especially when it comes to the team from his hometown of Fairfax, Minnesota. Fairfax was the dominant team in the Western Mini back in the 30s and 40s won the state championship in 1942. It was in that small town where Weinzettel opened the Fairfax Cardinals Baseball Museum. There's uh, eight walls, right? And a building originally built to be a ticket booth. Everybody has the same response, that little thing, until they get inside. You know, it's, uh, it's uh, special. In that museum, Weinzettel showcased a vast collection of autographed baseballs, featuring some of the game's biggest legends. Ernie Banks, Willie Mays, Rod Crew, Tony Oliva, Roger Clemens, uh, on and on. With winter coming, he thought it was time to pack up those precious mementos and bring them back to his Plymouth home. And now it's gone. Weinzettel left them sitting in his SUV, which was stolen right out of his driveway Sunday evening. Breaks my heart. And um, you can't recreate it. I can't go and find all those balls that I can't. There's no money that will replace it. Plymouth police say there's been an increase in motor vehicle thefts since 2020, with the city averaging about 80 over the last two years. They didn't know what was in there. But for Weinzettel, it's not the car, but the loss of the memorabilia that upsets him most. So if there's a message to the people, anybody who watches this, is to um, the things that are valuable to you, uh, your personal possessions, and your loved ones, hold them close. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.